And fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded Rose report. Let me get centrally located here. All right, hey, uh, hope everybody had a great holiday and everybody was safe. Last word, Chris Jericho's current WWE deal is uh, we're him working five, 15 live events, no TV tapings, during January and February. After that, he's going to go back on the road with Fozzie for a tour uh, in Europe, and uh, that's beginning around March 4th to the 19th. So the reason they don't want him on TV, they like to use him, but and the crowd likes to see him. But they, can't, they don't have enough time for a storyline to get built up and then, you know, him take off again unless it would be an awful short storyline. But they may be able to stick him on with a um, highlight reel or something. Jericho's status after WrestleMania 31 is said to be up in the air, but still um, appears he's not going to be scheduled for the big event. And uh, with that said, Jericho could easily be added at WrestleMania if Vince McMahon wants him bad enough because, you know, recently the plans for Jericho to stay off TV would remain... Uh, you know, something, but he's already worked two TV live events since November. That was just coming on and uh, interviewing people, I guess. And uh, over the weekend, WWE uh, star Lanny Poffo turns 60 years old today, and TNA knockout champion Taryn Terrell turns 29. I guess she's still champion. I don't know. Uh, if anybody catches uh, on the Discovery Channel, uh, what's it called? Anyway, um, uh, TNA, the impact, you know, that. let me know how much has changed. I don't know the announcing has changed, the graphics has changed, things like that. Just, uh, I don't get it on our cable system. Ted DiBiase Jr. noted on Twitter earlier this month that he's uh, interviewed Shawn Michaels for, it's called The Price of Fame documentary that he's been working on for the last few years, I guess. Price of Fame is a documentary that looks at uh, Ted's relationship with his father, the Million Dollar Man. Uh, no word yet on uh, when it's going to be released, but Ted noted that uh, the part with Shawn Michaels is one of the last pieces to the project. I don't know whether he's done it in order, or, but that's just going to be the ending of it, I guess. And regarding the big uh, Raw reunion on January 19th in Dallas, um, it's worth noting that they're building Scott Hall, which I think is kind of strange, as Razor Ramon, and Kevin Nash under his real name. Uh, kind of noted the other day, of course, Nash had been pulled uh, from the show due to current legal situations uh, as of late, but uh, so far he hasn't been removed from the WWE website, just, as, just for that show, though. Uh, noted recently via Wrestling Observer Newsletter that WWE officials are looking at the idea that current heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar, yes, he is the current champion will likely uh, return to UFC once his deal expires shortly after WrestleMania 31. Uh, MMAJunkie.com reports that UFC uh, President Dana White told them that he hasn't been in talks with Lesnar, and apparently there has been no progress over the talks over the past few months either. On one related note, though, Bellator MMA is also interested in Lesnar, and they haven't made any offers yet. Kevin Nash, like I said, one is not going to be appearing at the upcoming uh, Raw reunion special on uh, January 19th, as it stands right now. <clears throat> but uh, Nash is scheduled to appear along with Scott Hall. Uh, well, it's going to be this way. It was supposed to be Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, but WWE pulled him because of the domestic thing uh, with his son. But uh, WWE suspended Nash's. Legend deal though uh, until the current dispute you know resolves, but you know they just uh, put in and I can't remember how it was a new um, domestic thing because of the NFL's deal into WWE's uh, uh, wellness thing or whatever it's called a contract anyway, but uh, I'm not sure you know really whether they have to wait after conviction or you know what I'm I'm not sure about the suspensions and stuff but I. I don't know, NFL gives you like uh, once, they'll punish you some, twice, I think, maybe you're gone, I'm not sure. I uh, can't remember how it read, uh, read. but uh, WWE website's got a new poll up asking fans, former Shield members, will which former Shield members will be the first to capture a title? 12,000 votes uh, in on the, the question. 
and Roman Reigns currently has 57% of the votes, and <laughs> kind of odd, Seth and Dean Ambrose, uh, they're tied at 22. And RVD and Sabu, they're reuniting as a tag team for, for the first time since 2006 at the 2015 WrestleCon event during WrestleMania 31's weekend in Bay Area. Uh, RVD is not going to be attending the Hall of Fame as he and Sabu will be wrestling an indie show at WrestleCon Saturday night. And uh, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro are now billing themselves at the tag team and they're called Masters of the, not Universe, WWE Universe. WWE officials have been planning to announce Corey Graves' in-ring retirement and new announcer role at last night's NXT TakeOver uh, event ever since uh, late summer. He got, I think, con concussion-wise. Didn't want to really chance him anymore uh, getting hurt any further. And WWE officials uh, have been afraid by, of hurting Bray Wyatt by having him lose to Dean Ambrose in a recent series of matches, and the idea is to keep Ambrose, or rather, uh, Wyatt strong, in case the match between Undertaker and himself happens at WrestleMania 31. All right, the other day, uh, Bill Eady, or Demolition Axe, turned 67 years old, while Bill Goldberg turned 48, former WWE uh, Tough no, Enough no. Uh, winner Andy Levine turned 27, Brawl for All winner, remember that? Was <laughs> anyway, Bart Gunn, 51 years old, China, turns 47, the female. Uh, former TNA knockout Rosita turned 24 years old, Cesaro, 34, and today would have been the birthday, the 47th birthday of WCW, The Wall, Jerry to it. <clears throat> it was announced at, at the, the other over the weekend. Uh, Hulk Hogan is going to be returning to Madison Square Garden, New York City, Fabu February uh, 27th on a Friday for a live event. Tickets go on sale, and I guess that's the first time Hogan's been uh, making an appearance with WWE since 2002. All right, tonight, let's go with today's. That was over the weekend's report. Tonight, today's report. Ah, it's not that much longer. Hold on. If you, don't, if you haven't fell asleep yet, you can make this. Tonight's wrong. Taking place uh, at the Verizon Center of Washington, D.C.'s final episode. It says, final episode between, you know, in 2014. I say, duh, I know that. But tonight's show is going to be featuring Edge and Christian as general managers, which is usually good. Uh, just them being on it. No match has been announced for tonight's show, but we do know that Dissension is going to be making their Raw debut. I don't know if they're going to be heels for sure there or... Um, uh, Faces. Uh, I hope it's going to be a good debut. Randy Orton and the World Heavyweight Champion Brock Lesnar are also scheduled to be uh, there. And WWE's focusing on these points for tonight's show. Will Edge and Christian, how are they going to wreck havoc, havoc on uh, WWE? Uh, what will emerge from the Ascension's wasteland? How will Dolph Ziggler close out the best year he's ever had, which is true? Uh, did Jimmy Uzo deliver a deal breaker to The Miz? And where did Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt go from here? Uh, now, supposedly, Orton is hurt. Got injured, maybe out four to six more weeks. I'm not sure whether it's a true or a work, because he was uh, taken off of some indie shows um, over the weekend, but uh, but he did run-ins. So. Shawn Michaels noted on Twitter that he's working on finalizing his uh, book signing tour in 2015. It's called Wrestling for My Life, The Legend, Reality, and the Faith of a WWE Superstar, scheduled to be released around February 10th. And WWE's February, uh, <laughs> uh, tribute to the troops, one hour uh, uh, special on NBC, uh, what was it, Sunday night? Uh, drew about 1.5 million, might have been Saturday night, I guess, 1.5 million in comparison to the USA uh, Network Troops special that aired last Wednesday, drew about 2.2 million viewers. UFC uh, star Cole Miller, who often trains with uh, CM Punk, tells MMA Fighting that he believes Punk could do very well in UFC. I think he'd do good too, as long as he don't get in the ring. He says, I think most uh, MMA fighters don't have enough uh, that kind of background, but most aren't good at all. He said that about the fighters. All right. 
Daniel Bryant noted on Twitter that he's going to be working on a WWE autobiography that's coming out after WrestleMania 31. Bryant said he's been writing about the Wrestling Road Diaries documentary that he did with Colt Cabana and Sal uh, Renaro, something like that, in uh, 2009 before joining WWE. Mick Foley's 365 Days of Christmas has finally ended, and he's back to wearing his regular non-Christmas attire for the time being anyway. I guess he finally had to wash them things. Adrian Neville versus Tally Zane been announced for uh, January 9th NXT live event, Citrus Springs, Florida. While Tyler Breeze taking on Zane's been announced for January 16th NXT event in Tampa. Santino Morella tweeted the following about his health uh, on Sunday. He says, day two back at the gym after surgery number two. Road's been seeming so long. He says, I have constantly remind myself one step at a time. I do that every time I step out of the car and come into the house. WWE Diva Emma had a uh, injury scare at Saturday's, or rather Sunday night's uh, live event in Hershey, Pennsylvania during the Diva match. She, uh, during the match, I guess Emma and Alicia Fox took on the Bella Twins and Brie Bella tried to throw Emma out of the ring, but Emma landed harder, hard on the apron and it appeared to have injured her back. Anyway, trainers came down and checked out uh, her back and her for about five minutes before the match was over. And uh, she says, I have some pretty thoughtful Democrats, she says. Thank you. All good on this end. Uh, emulation lives on. Then she says, thank you for clicking. And I got to go. <laughs>